central to the success, if, if I can use that word, of the Soviet regime in spreading its system, and incidentally central to the success of so many regimes in the Arab world and Asia, Africa, and Latin America, which later imitated it, was the USSR's careful use not of mass terror and mass violence, as I said, which they avoided after 1945, but of selected violence, so violence targeted at elites, at intellectuals, at businessmen, at priests, at ex-politicians, and above all, at anyone capable of leading or organizing any kind of spontaneous organization. So ultimately, they were determined to control not only the government and not only the, the police and the media and the economy, but also all of the elements of what we now call civil society. The Soviet occupiers of Eastern Europe harassed and disbanded youth groups. Uh, they forbade the creation of independent sporting organizations. Uh, they treated anyone who worked for religious or even a secular charity with intense suspicion. I note for the record that they were very adamant that hiking clubs be banned at all costs. 